Man, what do I do? Like, the police are gonna come get me and arrest me. You know, when you do that, you lose money. And you, do you think companies wanna lose money? Nope. He pulls out the menu, he's like, hey, do you wanna try On this photo, it belongs to my girlfriend's mother. That's like the quintessential <laughs> UFO right there. Do you think aliens helped build the pyramids? That, mm. so, okay, so the only thing with that is if aliens helped us build pyramids, why don't they help us build pyramids now? <laughs> like, why did they only help us back then? Different kind of people, maybe like greedier now or something. I don't know. But, but I also, like, I want to say maybe they helped build pyramids. Like, there's pyramids all around the world, right? Uh -huh. Not just Egypt. There's pyramids in Mexico. Yeah. So, like, Scotland and England, I think, has like, there's a pyramid uh -huh. there too. But in a lot of these pyramids, there are like hieroglyphs or like just designs and art uh -huh. of like these men with like spacesuits or something like that too. And all of them kind of have something similar. That's true. Like if like Greek mythology, right? They always draw out these gods mm. that look not human at all. Yes. Right. And so they had to get that like imagery from somewhere, right? From somewhere. They had to, maybe they saw something or back then that is what people existed, what they looked like. I don't know. Or yeah, but, maybe back then they lived amongst these aliens type of thing, maybe. But I also don't want to discredit the humans from our past. Uh-huh. Like, why couldn't they build, a, like, these pyramids, too? No, people were smart back then. And think about it. Back then, it, like, when you were, like, let's just say you are like, a blacksmith. That's all you did. You're all day. master. Every single day. Yeah, you didn't do anything. You didn't worry about paying the bills. <laughs> you didn't worry about taxes. You didn't worry about taking your kid to soccer uh -huh. practice. You just hit that iron all day, That's every day. It. So if you're doing that every day, all day, like, you're going to be an expert at that mm -hmm. so think about it every single person back then they they were uh, they specialized in something that's true no, so if you're specialized in something you're gonna figure out how to make a pyramid right oh for sure if your whole life is just dedicated like someone someone told tells you they're like hey i want you to build a pyramid you, and you're spending all day every day doing it you're gonna figure it out eventually that is true i mean and like yeah like back then the people back then what invented math mm -hmm. studied stars and stuff like yeah. Why are we discrediting them and like saying like aliens built these? Yeah. I'm not, I don't know what's true. What if the humans help the aliens build them? So, so we're smarter <laughs> than the aliens? I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. That's quite the bold statement. But I don't know about that one. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I think it sounds cool that aliens helped build pyramids or something. Like, cause yeah. like you said, mm -hmm. like there's all these gods in mm -hmm. all these different cultures. Yeah. But, I really don't want to discredit the humans of the past. Yeah, no, I, I I, don't know. I don't believe the whole aliens building the pyramids theory because, yeah, humans are pretty smart, especially like when we put our minds to something very specific and we're like, we're going to figure this out until mm -hmm. we figure it out. You know, we could conquer a lot of things, you know? That's true. But then I'm like, all right, maybe humans did build them, but why can't we like build a freeway quickly now? Like, why it's, does it take ages and years and all this time yeah, well, to just fix a freeway well that goes into the the human the other human part which is like all these emotions and um mm. all these rules that we set up on ourselves true, and true, boundaries true. but like back then there's no boundaries you know if you wanted to beer build beard <laughs> if you wanted to build a pyramid you could just build a pyramid you know true you just like, need some land like all you had to do is make sure you're eating but mm. i don't i don't think they had to pay like you know rent back then that's true maybe they did but i don't, some I don't sort. think so maybe yeah. some sort yeah, I'm sure they had like some type of tax still, but for the most part, you know, they didn't have all these other things, all these distractions like humans do now. That's very true. Okay, so if we we both think aliens are real, yes, like, 100. So, yes. So I, I I believe in two, and the government said the aliens are real too. Like they, the U.S. government, they said yes, mm -hmm. yeah, aliens are real, and Mexico showed us some sort of wacky proof, uh -huh. which I don't really believe in that one. Yeah, but how come like there's no evidence real evidence of uh -huh. aliens if they're real well even like ufo videos like they're all grainy out of focus so you can't really make it out what it is you know we have it's 2023 we have 4k 8k yeah, cameras yeah. but aliens might have some technology that like hides them from cameras i mean not opposed to that like if they're so smart that they could travel to our planet i'm sure they have some technology that's like you know, prohibits, blocks. yeah, blocks uh, camera technology or something like that. True. Have you seen the movie, what's it called? Nope. No, I have not. What is that? Oh, it's a good movie. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. That's from uh, Jordan Peele, right? Yes. Oh, no, I haven't seen it. We got to watch it's it. It's about aliens or what? Yes. Okay, I got to watch it. And it's it's a good movie. Okay. But in that movie, 
I'll, I'm a I'm a spoiler alert. Just uh-huh. if you haven't watched it, but long story short, yes, there's a like there's it's about aliens. Uh huh. And uh, the goal of the movie, they're trying to capture the picture of the alien. Mm. Like they want to get the quintessential. Okay. I got the shot. You okay. know, that's kind of the goal. Okay. <sighs> okay. Here I go. Bear with me now. Uh huh. Just bear with me, please. Okay. I may or may not have some sort of proof or actual a photograph of a UFO. Actually, no way. Right here, right now. No way. I brought it. Okay, let me see. Let me see this. Let me see this. And I did not take this. Wait, this is a bold statement, dude. I'm saying like I it's either it's a UFO or it's not. I'm not I'm not saying what it is. Wait, where did you get this photo though? Okay. If you didn't take it. So before I show you this, this photo belongs to my girlfriend's mother. Okay. She's the one that took it. Uh huh. She took it around, I think, like 2013. She told me. Okay. They were in like Zacatecas. They were in Mexico. Okay. They were like in the nice city. They were going back to the rancho. Okay. It's a nice, bright, beautiful day. Uh huh. And I guess there's some mountains. And then she's like, "Wow, I uh-huh. want to take a picture." Okay. So the camera she had, this is this is what I've been told. Okay. It's an older camera, and it had a mode where it shot and burst. Okay. So three pictures. Okay. I think uh-huh. it was film digital. I'm not sure, but it took uh-huh. three pictures. It was on that mode. She took a picture of the mountain, broop, took the picture, went back home, blah, 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 forgot about it. It wasn't until she was back here in the United States at her home. They were looking at the pictures on the TV, you know, put the memory card in. Uh-huh. And so remember, burst. Okay. So they, they go to the first picture, the mountain, nothing. Uh-huh. Second picture, alien. There's something. Third picture, there's nothing. Okay. So if it's, you're shooting in a burst, if there's a, a bird, you It'd be in it. all three. If it was a plane, you'd see it. But all right. right it's here, only in one. And here, this was the middle picture. Okay, let's see, let's see this. Yo, <laughs> no, dude, that's that's like the quintessential <laughs> UFO right there. Like it's, it, I always say for the people listening, like this is it's a little blurry. Yes, like the the object in this frame, but it's not a plane and no, it's not a bird. That's that's like. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's like a saucer. That's yes. a straight up saucer. That's what I see. When they told it's, she told me that she like has a picture of UFO, I was mm-hmm. like, "What are you talking about? You're out of your mind." She's like, "I have proof." She brought out this print. They printed it out. This kind of goes into what we we're just saying though that anytime there's proof of an alien, it's always like a blurry yeah, photo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I don't get it. Ah, man, I, that's hard, dude. Do you believe it? I I want to believe it. I I I do. And like, yeah, the, the three frames thing, that's what really catches my attention, you know? Because if it was a plane, you'd see it in all three frames. Do, does she have the other two photos? Yes. I Man, that's She crazy. has the other two. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We're putting it on screen, right? No, we yeah. Put this on we're going to put it on screen. But that's, that's a saucer. No, I... It's hard, it's hard to not believe that, man. That's like a straight up alien saucer. And that looks like... That looks like a UFO. And I and I don't remember the full information, but I remember my girlfriend also mentioned that her brother wanted to see the picture. Uh-huh. He's like, "Yo, send me the picture. Like, I want to see it." Uh-huh. So I guess she texted it to him, and that after like a day or, or a day or something, some time passed, and that the brother got a text from a random number, oh. like as like asking, like just asking like questions about the photo, what? a random number. What? So word got around. Word got around. The alien community would <laughs> kill for this photo, dude. This is some sort of proof. Dude, this is... You know how valuable this photo exactly, is? Exactly. Like, this is... It's insane. Hey, wait. Actually, uh, alien photo aside, this is actually a great shot. Oh, like, no, yeah. Her like, mom made, <laughs> took a great shot. It's a great composition and everything. It's a banger. A beautiful yeah. day and everything. Yeah. No, this is great. This is... What? You could... I could totally see this as like a postcard. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, I, I would like to visit one day. No, this is... Dang, this is good proof, man. This is something. Does, like, does her mom know that she's sitting on a gold mine right that's now? That's what. That's exactly what I told her when they told me. I was like, Yeah. Have you contacted the authorities or yeah. like the government? Like, people need to. This is this is something. I don't know what it is, but yes, it's not a weather balloon. It's not nah. a hot air balloon. It's not a blimp. There's no blimp in Zacatecas, right? Dude, that's crazy. No, I I believe that. I I can see it, especially because you said that it only appears. In one of the three photos. In one of the three. And the photos are like boom, 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 right? Yep, it's a burst. Wow. That's, that's that's some good proof. That's some good proof, dude. So, yes, I may or may not have some proof of okay. UFO evidence. Okay. Okay. But to switch it up really quick, you know what else I think is real? What? 
Bigfoot. I hmm. know, I know in my, I know deep down, I really believe Bigfoot is real. Like, is it just one or I, is, it, I, is it like I a think, collection of big feet? So, Do they call them big feet? Okay, check this out. My barber, okay. Okay. He's like a Bigfoot enthusiast and he always tells me these uh, Bigfoot uh, stories. Okay, okay. And uh, so what his theory is that Bigfoot, well, I don't know if it's his theory or just like the Bigfoot theory in general, but he was telling me that supposedly there's Bigfoot or Big Feet, you know, multiple Bigfoots <laughs> yeah. in the world and very few of them, but they like hide in like caves or something like that, right? Like they don't want to be seen by humans because they know that if they're seen by humans, that what are the humans going to do? Attack them. Attack them. Yeah, they're going to attack them, them, hunt them them down, down, grab them and, you know, do experiments on them because that's what humans do, right? That's true. We don't just let let, uh, (laughs) animals just live how they live. Oh, no, yeah. So they actively avoid us, right? And that's Mm -hmm. why when every time people record, you know, Bigfoot, they they just get like a quick shot of the Bigfoot and Bigfoot disappears. That's true. And he was also telling me that Bigfoot are, um, or, you know, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call them, that... The reason why when someone records them and then they disappear all of a sudden is because they actually jump through the trees. Wait. Like they jump from tree to tree. And that's why they, they'll go be on the ground one second and the next second they'll just climb up the tree really quick, jump to another tree, and now they're gone. They're like a mile away already. They're like the Hulk. Yeah, yeah. They're like superhumans. Whoa. Okay. I don't know. Like Bigfoot, I, f- I feel like we would have found some sort of skeleton or something, you know? like Well, they find footprints. But are they actually like? I mean, if you want to believe the footprints or not, do you want to believe that UFO picture? I mean, true, very you know, true, very true. But you said they live in caves. Yeah, they live in caves, just like where humans like just don't, can't access them, you know, or don't go, you know. Okay. And then um, he was also telling me this story about this guy. So this guy was out there looking for Bigfoot or something. Like he was out there camping in the forest, like somewhere wherever there's a lot of trees, and then um. All of a sudden, they they found they someone found his body, but they don't know where. Like they found his stuff, but they didn't find the body itself. Oh, okay, okay. Like all his clothes and stuff, but like mm. they didn't find any tracks of him moving anywhere else. Whoa. And so the theory is is that Bigfoot was like in the tree and snatched him up, and so he left all his stuff. And of course, since he got snatched up from the tree, none of his uh, footprints are anywhere else. Okay, I could wow. Or he got abducted by aliens. Or yeah, if you want to bring like, it back to aliens, yeah. It could what if aliens. Bigfoot or Big Feet uh-huh. are like cousins of aliens? And octopuses. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it. That could be the case. Is like aliens shape shift into whatever it is that oh, they want to be, right? Actually, sometimes okay, they're okay. octopuses. Sometimes they're Bigfoot. Sometimes they're the Loch Ness Monster. Dang. Okay, okay. Right? That's true. And like I like how you mentioned the the disappearing guy uh-huh. because I don't know if you heard of like all these people disappearing in national parks. No, what, what is that? Okay, so I mean, wait, so that that might be associated with that, the Bigfoot. Okay, actually. so yeah, yeah, yeah that, you got me thinking now. Okay, so yeah, there's I mean, it's known that a lot of people disappear at national parks. Okay, all across the United States, there's a lot of national parks. I don't know how many, uh-huh. but you got like what Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, uh-huh. blah blah blah, right? And there's missing people everywhere in cities too, okay. but if you put a map of, I guess, missing people around the uh, national parks, there's missing people everywhere. So just missing people in like the national park areas. Okay. The map of that, you overlay it over the cave system in the in the United States because Bigfoot lives in the caves. Mm-hmm. The the maps just yes they they match. Yeah, so that's what Big Fe- Bigfoot, Big Feet, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's called Big Feet, right? That's like Some, the plural of Bigfoot. I, I like I like that. The Big Feet, <laughs> they're abducting these humans, and then those. That's why mm. these hikers or whatever they disappear. That's see, like this, that could be a theory. Well, because I mean, they have to eat, right? Yeah, like, oh for they sure, they have to eat something, right? For sure, and they're and, big. Yeah, they're Bigfoot. Like, <laughs> they gotta eat a lot. So maybe they're eating humans. That's a possibility. There's also people saying like some sort of like off grid type people live in these caves and Mm -hmm. just hunt these hikers or adventure people Mm -hmm. down and like the people just don't know where they're at, you know? Because like like I guess the cave systems here like so extensive and like they're Uh like like the ocean not explored, Mm. so we don't know what's in these cave systems. And then like I think I also read that I don't know which president when they were making like national parks, Uh like they wanted like. A way to like cover up so people wouldn't go because if they just blocked off, it's like, oh, Americans, you can't go to these areas. Yes, people can be like, wait, why not? Yeah, yeah, let's go explore, right? Yeah, so it's like, all right, you guys, let's free land, go explore it. Uh huh. 
how many people are really gonna go? Like, you know, like yeah, slow, very few, people. very few people. And the few that do go get abducted. There you go. Wow. So wait. So the theory is that people live inside the caves. That's well, that's one theory. Yeah. Like I guess like actual humans, not like aliens or anything like that. Yeah, that's one. Like, there's a group of like uh, like some sort of mole people <laughs> that just okay. like you know just live in caves. Yes. Maybe they've lived there for generations uh-huh. too. You know, like that's yeah. all they know. Uh huh. Like they haven't been to the outside world and yeah. They need that, to that eat. sounds believable because I mean there's like parts of the world where there's like tribes that have not interacted with mm-hmm. you know modern humans oh, yeah, true. and they don't have like modern technology and all mm-hmm. that stuff they're just living as if they were living you know 500 years oh, ago yeah? so that sounds very believable like I'm sure there's people you know tribes that you know were raised in the caves and that's all they know are the caves very true no yeah because you you adapt to you know your environment oh for sure no yeah then you gotta eat whatever is in front of you yes. Did you know that if you like, let's say you you become blind. When you become blind, your your hearing and like everything becomes like high end. Okay, because like your that. body, like your mind compensates because mm-hmm. your mind is like, okay, like I can't use my vision, so now I really gotta tap into like my hearing. That's true. And okay. so your hearing becomes stronger. Mm. So those people that are the K people, like, yeah, they can't see in the case, but they don't need to see. Because you know how like bats don't see either. They use their sonic hearing oh, yeah. in order to navigate the cave system. Dang. So it could be pitch black in the cave, but they could perfectly navigate. Oh, no, for sure. Then that's their home, you know, so like they know the layout. Yes. So, Dang. I mean, they just evolve, right? Evolve to their surroundings. Yeah, that's true. What if what if it's all the above? Some sort of like humanoid person that just lives in the caves and eats people. Uh-huh. Could be Bigfoot. What about lizard people, too? That's true. Lizard yeah. people, I damn, it's like all tied together, right? I, th- I think, like, honestly, I, I kind of feel like most conspiracy theories type things, like, all connected. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, like maybe Bigfoot is like their leader. <laughs> <laughs> he's, the pre- he's the president. Bigfoot is a president, right? So that's why there's only a few of them, right? Because they're the ones like in charge. That's true. But then uh, they have these cave people that they send out to go do their dirty work, mm. to go, uh, I don't know, attack other people, go abduct people, get them some food or whatever that's it is, true. right? And then they have these octopuses <laughs> like, all right, you protect the ocean. That's true. <laughs> you research the ocean. And then they're communicating with their alien cousins in the air. There, there's something going on. There's something. I, I believe it too. I I can see that for sure, dude. Dang. Do Do you think I'm a lizard person? Nah, you don't. Nah, you. Why, why not? <laughs> why no, not? <laughs> no disrespect to you, but I just feel like an alien. I mean, an alien person, a lizard person. You know, because they always say the lizard people are the most powerful people in like the world, right? Mm, so they okay. supposedly they say this, like you know, the people like the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world, like True. all the billionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys they say are the lizard people because mm. that's the reason why they are the most powerful people in the world because Damn. the lizard people rule the world, right? And they live underneath the earth. Like, what's it called? Middle earth or something okay, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they live in the earth where they can't be seen. Obviously, n- normal humans can't access middle earth. Big cave? Big cave, yeah. So, um, you know, the billionaires of the world, the most powerful people in the world are supposedly thought to be the alien people. I mean, alien. The, the lizard people. Thanks. So if, the, the, so if all the... The elites are lizard people. Then that means I'm a roach person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's essentially normal humans. You know, quote unquote normal <laughs> humans are. You know, we're like the peasants okay, that have so, no superpowers. So we're the roach people. Yes, yes. We are the roach people. I'll be the king roach then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you king roach. You still roach though. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it is what it is, dude. <laughs> Wait, have you heard that theory about um? Supposedly, this is my my wife told me this that supposedly makeup stores that when they get returns they put it back on the shelf and sell it again what? just like that yeah yeah supposedly because i guess people have gone like bought makeup brand new makeup like they go to the store and buy a brand new makeup and it's used Ooh. like the palette or whatever looks used Oh, that's nasty. And so the theory is that like these makeup stores, when they get these returns, maybe they do like a quick, they're like, oh yeah, this one looks like pretty good condition. Let's mm-hmm. throw it back on the shelf and get our money back. Because what they're supposed to do is when they get returns, it's refund the customer and just destroy the makeup. Oh, okay, okay. But you know, when you do that, you lose money. A lot. Yeah. And you, do you think companies want to lose money? Nope. Nope. So what, what would they do? Put it back on the shelf and just hope that, you know, no, no one notices. One sees it. And I, I kind of believe that only because... Have you ever ordered from Amazon and gone something that looks like it was used, but it was supposed to be new? That has happened to me multiple times yes. where I order something 
supposed to be brand new, uh, and it comes and it's the box is like opened. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Right. I hate that. Yeah, and for Amazon, I don't really care because most of the things I buy on Amazon are things that I'm not like consuming or putting on my face, right? True. But makeup, like makeup, when you buy makeup, that has to be brand new because that's nasty. Like, no, yeah, it's someone else. Like, you don't know what they have or exactly, like what yeah. the, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you put their oils. Your, yeah, you put it on your face and that's not sanitary at no, all. No, that's, that's, that's nasty. So I believe that just because I know from experience that Amazon orders, some of the Amazon <laughs> orders I've gone, like they were clearly opened. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine, like, mine too. I just, I just ordered, a, I think, a humidifier for my plants. Uh-huh. The box was open all the way. Yeah, I think they just barely taped it up. Yeah, someone, yeah, someone probably ordered it and it returned it, and you know they put all the stuff back. But then you know, but like if Amazon does it, who's Man. to say that um you know these other companies don't? I mean, I can see that because like I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's some like restaurants out there that just some of the food that's there they can like you know what yeah just refry it. <laughs> I I could see it. I could see like some mom and pop shops doing no, yeah, something you know, like just that. Trying to, make it buy you know like yeah like they're struggling a little bit like i can't get rid of this i need to sell it yeah save a couple bucks my sister she used to work at a restaurant um they did not do that but okay. what they did was when uh people would order food and not pick it up or anything like that they would give it to like the employees so that's not bad no i mean because yeah, the food's fine and then especially if, like you tell yeah. them like yo yeah. like, do you want this that someone left yeah but knowing that like i'm sure there are like mom and pop restaurants or just restaurants in general that when they get you know food ordered and the people don't pick it up they probably like, hey, just sell it to the next person or put it back on the pan and warm it up. I think, and I will say, because recently I've been making these videos of the worst rated food yes. in my area. Okay. And I will say, uh, from personal experience, most of the food tastes old. It's not fresh. Yeah. It's, you know. It's probably been sitting out for a while. I don't, I, hopefully the day, that day, but hopefully not days. Yes. But no, yeah. I'm just, from experience, I could vouch that people, I don't know how old. I don't yeah. know if it's returned food, but it's just older for sure. Isn't that crazy? When you order food from restaurants, we're putting so much <laughs> trust in these restaurants that they're preparing the food correctly, right? Yes. Like, we don't know what the chef is doing. Like, we don't know what they're putting in the food. We don't know if they washed their hands. Nope. We're just hoping that they did. That's same applies when you go to eat at someone else's house. Yes. Oh, yeah. They always say <laughs> that you shouldn't eat at other people's houses mm -hmm. because you don't know, like, how they clean, what they do, if they wash their hands. They if, have the same concept. If they wash their pots correctly. Dude, I've been to a lot of houses where, you know, they have, you know, animals and there's dog, cat mm -hmm. hair everywhere. Oh, for sure. So I can almost guarantee <laughs> that, you know, that dog cat hair is probably in the food. I'll tell you right now, I probably had a couple of cat hairs in my mom's house because of my cat. <laughs> Well, see, there you go. <laughs> but like, yeah, like you don't know how clean they are, right? I've seen Not some sure. people wash their dishes and I'm like, I would never wash my dishes like that. Oh, no, yeah. I, sometimes I get mad. Yeah. Like, uh, first of all, I don't consider myself the cleanest person. Uh -huh. Like, but I, when it comes to washing dishes, I make sure they're clean because that's where I eat. You know, like I don't want to put my food on a nasty plate. Mm -hmm. So like one thing about me, I need a clean dish. Yeah. And yeah, sometimes I go to people's houses and like you get a fork and like there's still some yeah like old food in it. I'm like, uh, I, uh, I I'm good, bro. Thanks. Like, yeah, you know? and some people when they cook, they have different like theories on like when food goes bad, right? You know, some mm. person may be like, you know, oh, this onion is only X amount of days old. I could totally use this onion. True. Other people are like, oh no, I would never use that onion because it's already rotten. That's true. So you know, who's to say that you know that mashed potatoes you're about <laughs> to eat isn't from some year old potatoes that you that are rotten? That's true. Now. What, what about like, you know, like in Mexican in Mexican culture, they're like, oh, let when you cook food, you leave it outside so it could like cool down, uh -huh. and then you put it in the fridge. Yes, you know that. Yeah. What if the people that never put it in the fridge are like just take hour like all day, and then they feed you that when you go. See, okay, so I that definitely happens because I grew up like that. <laughs> like in in my family, we would eat rice that's been sitting out like all day, and it's not mm. a big deal. You know, it's just rice. So, but I know like my wife, like her family doesn't do that. So she mm. thinks it's weird when I'm like, rice has been sitting out. I'm like, oh, just put it in the fridge. It's fine. Oh, yeah, She's yeah. like, no, it's been sitting out for like hours. I'm like, it's just rice though. So uh, I, yeah, I'm a victim of that. I mean, I'll tell you right now, like for like rice, like I'll eat that, yeah. you know, like I'll look at it like, oh, it looks fine to me. Yeah. I'll eat it. And I'm not a scientist. I don't know a nutritionist. I don't know how long food's supposed to be outside, but yeah. I know for the most part, some people, I think. I think I saw like a story on TikTok of some kid who was meal prepping. Uh huh. Like he, I think he meal prepped spaghetti or something mm -hmm. for the whole week, 
but he just left it on the counter. Ah, uh, for whole, the whole week. The whole week. That's and disgusting. Long story short, he had it and R.I.P. No, he died. Actually, um, based on the vi- that's what on the video I saw. Yes. No way. I, I don't know. He got something, and yeah, wow. he did. He did not make it. Wow. From spaghetti. That's actually pretty sad. No, yeah, it's very sad. That's that's I'm like. Wow. Like you know, some people I don't know. They just oh, like it looks good. You know, yeah. like why why do I need to put it in the fridge? Yeah. And like yeah, I kind of see that because mm-hmm. like is there actual a rule of thumb of like how long food's supposed to stay, stay outside? Well, so I heard this. I don't know if it's true. Some people have told me. It's not true. Other people have told me it is true. Supposedly, a lot of people, like, when they cook food, they're like, oh, you're not supposed to put it in the fridge right away. Like, you're mm-hmm. supposed to let the food cool down like, and then put it in the fridge. That's what my parents But say. then I've also heard, yeah, I grew up like that. My parents said the same thing. But I've also heard now that you don't, that it's like a, a myth. Yeah, that yeah, you yeah. could just cook the food and just throw it in the fridge right away. Mm-hmm. So I don't know which one is correct, which side is correct. But uh, I don't know. Lately, I've just been throwing it in the fridge <laughs> after mean, I cook it. Not same. So um, hopefully, hopefully that theory is correct. <laughs> I I think I might have read it was like food's not supposed to stay out for more than two hours. Two yeah okay. See, I totally have <laughs> eaten food that's been out more than two hours. Oh 100%. me too, a lot of it. Yeah, hundred percent. Like when you go to family parties, dude, they bring out the food at like you know let's just say it's like twelve p.m. Right? Oh yeah. And I'm eating that food at four p.m. Five p.m. Eight. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> literally, dude. Like at a party, you know. Yeah, like a barbecue. You know, like all the burgers out there, the flies are flying around. Yeah, yeah. It. you know when you go to like a, like a party, yeah, any type of family party, you know, start to like let's just say like five p.m. They bring out the food you eat at that time, but then you get hungry again at like eleven p.m., twelve a.m. Food's still out there. Yeah, and you just get the food, you warm, pop it in the microwave, and you start eating it. That's true. But what? wait, hold on, dang. Now I'm thinking about like taqueros. Okay. Like they don't have a fridge out there. Well, I mean, yeah. they have coolers. So yeah, I'm pretty but, sure they have coolers, but... But they're also not cooking for, like, you know, eight hours straight. Like, usually a taquero is only cooking for, like, two hours. A couple, I'd say a couple hours. But what about, like, all the meat, like, on the trompo? Like, the pastor? That's out there for hours. That's I true. mean, it's on... the yeah, other. it's, like, on fire and stuff. Yeah. But it's still out there? I feel like the fire would... Um, kill the germs. Kill the bacteria <laughs> and all that stuff. I could see that. I could see that. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, you know? Like... Yeah. I'm still going to go eat these tacos. Yeah. Oh, with a smile on my face. Probably after this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for, for sure. See, that, that's that's why, like, I don't really care too much about the germs sometimes mm-hmm. because I'm just like, whatever. It builds my immune system. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm used to it. Like, what's the worst worst case that happens is, you know, go to the restroom. I don't care. It's, no, it's true. It's, it's not the end of the world. And I'll I, be fine. I'm used to that, too. Like, that's yeah. my normal. Because if you're, like, so, like, um, if you're, like, so cautious about, like, the things you eat, Mm-hmm. That you're like, oh, how long has this food been eating? I feel like you're not gonna enjoy life. No, that's true. You're not gonna enjoy the food, and yeah, you're not gonna enjoy life. <laughs> yeah, you know, like if someone brings me some um, mashed potatoes from home, <laughs> I'm probably gonna eat the mashed potatoes. Same. Yeah, I don't. One thing about me, I rarely say no to food. <laughs> yeah, we know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> very rarely, <laughs> like very rarely. And you know what I love about me and you is that like me and you, we we throw down when we eat. Oh, for like, sure. Every time like we get invited to eat, like we, me and you together, I feel like we eat a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like when you and me pull up in the room, like bring out the turkey. Yeah, you know? yeah, for like, sure. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I don't know what. Like I don't know. We just we throw down. Oh no, it's because you and me love to eat. You know, yeah, like yeah. we just we both men that love to eat. Yeah, and we're not picky. Oh no, yeah. And one thing about you, like I, you're down. You know, oh, like yeah, you're down yeah. to try anything. And like, yeah. like there's certain foods where like I'm still like iffy on with texture and stuff because uh-huh. I wasn't like I didn't eat that stuff growing up. Like yeah. even like tripe. Yeah, like I don't know. Like, I actually love that. I'm like, I'm like it's too. The texture's mm-hmm. off for me. Was, now, I'm like, man up, bro. Just eat it. It's because I like it. Yeah. But just I, it's just like a chewing thing for me. Yeah, dude. I, I love trying everything. I don't care what it is. I want to try it. I just I just love food in general. Like, I feel like you always... I hate people that don't want to try food. No, yeah. Like, I'm, they I'm look at something like, ooh, I don't want to try that. Like, just try it. If you don't like it, then don't eat it again. But at least try it. And like, just at least you try you it, you might like it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's why, that's how I am with food. Like, I don't care mm-hmm. if it's like, you know, whatever culture it is, whatever mm-hmm. part of the animal it is. True. I literally do not care. I will try it. It's like, on the outside, I'll look like I don't care. And on the inside, I'm like, bro, what is that? But, yeah. but I will still try it. Yeah, no, I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to enjoy it. No, yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean I'm going to oh, eat no, it yeah, again, yeah. but I will at least try it, okay? So, what's the, what's the I guess, the wildest thing that you, you've ate? Oh, the craziest thing I have ever eaten is probably raw horse. <clears throat> can you, 
<laughs> Can you repeat that? Yes, raw horse. So when I went to <laughs> Japan about um, it was about like eleven years ago. I had, I guess over there, I don't know if it's still a thing, but when I went, like raw horse was a thing. So literally, mm. we went to a normal sushi restaurant. Like it was a sushi restaurant at a mall in Japan. Okay. Okay. Normal sushi restaurant. Yeah. It wasn't exotic or anything. And then we get there, and then uh, my foreign exchange student that I was living with, he pulls out the menu. He's like, hey, do you want to try raw horse? And then he told me that. I was like, <laughs> raw horse? Like, like horse and he was like yeah like nay <laughs> when he said the nay i was like oh like a horse horse i was like i was like yeah let's try it i was like why not you know i was like i mean i'm in japan when no, am yeah. i ever gonna get an opportunity to try raw horse for sure and uh yeah so i they ordered raw horse they brought it out and it was on a sashimi so it was like just mm. a ball of rice <laughs> with the raw horse just sitting on top of it and uh it looked exactly like sushi like if you put it next to a sushi roll you wouldn't be able to tell the okay. difference I guess the only thing was that like it did look like muscle. You know how like muscle oh, looks like, like tendon. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I tried it. I ate it. It tasted like sushi. It, it tasted mm. like fish to me. It was fishy. It just like it tasted like fish. Like the texture was the same texture okay, as like okay. um you know sashimi, like r- raw sushi. Yeah, yeah. And um, it tasted like sushi. Like there's not really mm. anything different about it. Did you put it like in the soy sauce? No, that I just ate it raw. I okay, mean, okay. ate it straight. <laughs> I ate it raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just ate it straight because um I feel like I just wanted to get the full experience. Dang. But um yeah, so that was probably the the I guess the quote unquote strangest thing I ate. Just because like over here, I've never seen that over here. I don't even know if that's allowed. I I'm a I'm gonna go ahead and just say probably not. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I've never heard of anyone eating horse in the no, United I'm, States. I'm pretty sure the the horse community people here would like you know take offense to that. Yeah. See, but that's the thing is like different parts of the world, you know, they eat different things. Like people, we eat cows like nothing, but oh, sure. in India, don't they not eat cows at all? I, I, th- I believe they're sacred. No. Yeah. Or? Exactly. Yeah. So they think we're disgusting people for eating um, cows. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we can't really judge other countries for what animals they eat because they judge us for the animals that we eat. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. I know pig, a lot of uh, like cultures do not eat pig mm. because they think pigs are like, you know, nasty animals and they actually are. Yeah, they are. But gosh dang it, it's good. Yeah, I love pig. I <laughs> one, love one bacon. Thing about, one thing about me, I'm going to eat bacon. Oh, wait, you know what other animal I've tried? I've tried whale. Oh, I'm don't get, tell me that. I know. Don't I know. tell me that. But also, it was in Japan. You know. But like, I'll tell you right now. I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, it's just like one of those things. Like I'm there. Like I had to try it. You know, it's their culture. I'm not gonna disrespect their culture. And you have to immerse yourself in the culture. Yeah, you know? and that one when I tried that whale, it was actually at like a traditional um, Japanese dinner type of mm. ceremony thing, and um, they're giving us very traditional Japanese uh, dishes. Okay. And one of the dishes was whale. Do you know what kind of whale? I have no idea. I really don't know. They just said it was whale. Blue endangered whale? <laughs> it might have been. I don't know. You know, I'm not proud of it. But like I said, it's their culture. Yeah. I'm not going to disrespect their no. culture and what they do. You know, that's them. That's true. But uh, yeah, it was, it was decent. Like, okay. I, I don't think it was delicious. Okay. Was it like the flubbery part? Or? Yeah, it was just chewy. It was just chewy. It didn't really, to me, it didn't really have too much of a taste to okay. it. But uh, I thought it was a cool experience. No, I mean, I, I think that's awesome. Like, if if I ever get given the chance, I'm pretty sure I would take it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you go out to eat, just try everything, man. Just whatever. Who cares what it is? No, yeah. Let's just try everything. I feel like you just, you got you have to experience every type of food in the world. Oh, for sure. And that's my mission. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my mission. What was the strangest thing you have ever tried? I'm trying to think. I, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's nothing as crazy as well i would consider crazy as horse and whale because uh-huh. i'm not i haven't seen that here but just off the top of my head and I, like now that i think about it like i don't think it's after hearing you like i don't think it's like that crazy mm-hmm. but i mean in mexico i've had crickets crickets that, that's pretty exotic and, but I, and like they were good like just mm-hmm. like fried up crickets with like salt and chili it's like a chip yeah and like nice and crunchy I mean, of course, you still see the whole cricket. So you're like, whoa, like, yeah. I'm going to put this in my mouth. Uh-huh. And like, I did. It's like a couple cents for like a little little cup. But they were pretty good. And I remember also at the pyramid in Mexico City, I had this dish this dish called escamoles. Okay, what is that? So I guess it's a uh, ant larva. Ant so, larva? So ant eggs. What? And like, so I guess this, like it's very exotic dish right because uh-huh. you have to get you have to like dig these ant holes to get the ant larva yes and like it's very fragile so i guess you just get it they clean it somehow and then i had it they fried it up with like some sort of garlic mm-hmm. like 
sauce. Uh huh. And then did you give me a plate of this ant larva? Uh huh. It just looked like little white eggs. Yes. Yeah. Essentially. And then I just put it in a tortilla with some salsa. And that sounds good. pretty fire. And actually. you're good to go. The, the way you're describing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you put anything in a tortilla and like yeah. add some salsa, like it has to be pretty good. Dude, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever really tried like insects. Like I've mm. tried like exotic animals, but not insects. Mm. I, I got it. That's what I got to try next. I'm scared. I'm like, I think the bigger the insect, the more scared I'll be. I think the smaller the insect, the better. Because the crickets were like yeah. kind of medium sized. Uh-huh. And even then I was like, uh, I don't know. But if I had to eat like some big beetle, yeah, I don't know. I might draw the line or there, like, or, but pe- I'd have to like cut it up. People eat like tarantulas, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, they do. So see, that, <laughs> that's the only thing. I'm very scared of spiders. So I may be a little hesitant to eat a spider if like if it looks like a spider still, like it's not cut up. I may be a little hesitant. I'll, I'll still try it, but I'll probably be very slow about eating it. No, yeah, probably like just eat like one little piece, piece of the leg. Yeah. Cause I, oh, yeah, because they eat like fried tarantulas. Like I've seen mm-hmm. that for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. for sure a thing. And then I've seen scorpions too. Yeah, scorpions. Yeah, I've seen Man, scorpions. That sounds crunchy. Wait, how do you, if you eat a scorpion, how would you not get poisoned? Maybe when you fry it up, it kills the poison. Yeah, Maybe true. I don't yeah. know. Like, Probably gets fu- activated or fu- something. Fire yeah. kills everything. <laughs> That's that is true. That's Maybe because yeah, I, th- I think like I'm pretty sure they defry them. Mm-hmm. I would try that. I would. I would. So there's nothing in the world that you would not taste. Okay. Would you Actually, would no, you no, no. try? Someone asked me this question. Okay. Okay. Wait, what were you gonna say? Would, would you I try? try rat? Yes, I would try. Rat. Okay. Okay. A field rat though. Yes. 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 Not not some New York. Yeah, you know, I would not. Eat, <laughs> I would not eat a New York City rat. No. No. No way. Because that rat eats like you know trash. No. Yeah. But like a field rat that's like been living in the field and eats you know natural insects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. hundred percent. I would eat that. 100%. I would try one too. Yeah. For sure. I guess the only thing I would not eat would probably actually be a dog, just mm. because I've had dogs as pets. But um, I would eat a cat <laughs> because I don't have a cat as a pet. So like, I have no emotional attachment to a cat. Yeah. But dogs, I you know I love dogs. They're they're man's best friend. Exactly. So you know, but a cat, you put a cat in front of my dish, and I'm in a, in a different country where it's acceptable. I'll probably eat some cat, dude. Dang. I've had dogs and cats growing up. Would you eat them? Put them on a tortilla and some salsa. <laughs> I'm eating those suckers. You're, you're savage, bro. <laughs> See, that's the, the. I think that's the only animal though that I would probably really be hesitant about eating. I mean, yes, I, it's not that I want to eat dog or cat, but yeah. I think if it's presented in like a very cultural way, yeah, that's what everyone's eating, and yeah. like you know, like they're being respectful about it. Like everyone's yeah. Re- respectful. Yeah. Why not try it? Well, in other parts of the world, like wild dogs is a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. they're not domesticated. They're just mm. like out there just running around eating rats and stuff like that. True. So like they're kind of seen as just, you know, wild animals. Mm. Like how we see, you know, sheep and, you know, whatever deer, deer, and, deer stuff. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the same concept. Very so true. it's not that, you know, out of this world. Kind of goes back to what we just said is that like, you know, different countries eat different animals. That's true. And like like I said, I see nothing wrong with that. Like if people eat dog, like honestly, I don't care. I'm still petting mine, you know? Like yeah. Yeah, you know, it's hard to judge other people, you know? Just, oh, yeah. Because they judge us, so. Only God could judge you. <laughs> Only God could judge Tup- you. Tupac said that, no? <laughs> yeah, he did, he did. <laughs> Wait, like, so the since you're a big Tupac fan. Yes. Like, do you, did they find the guy, like? Right? No, oh, oh, let's talk. Let's let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that theory, dude. Let's talk about that theory. So, like, do you think like, Tupac is alive? Yes or no? <laughs> uh... Yes. Yes. Somewhere, somewhere like Cuba or something. Okay. So <laughs> when I was, so I've been listening to Tupac since I was like a kid, man, and I love Tupac. But like middle school, high school, I genuinely believed that he was still alive. Why? Not so much anymore now because it's been so long. He still hasn't came out. But because it's just, it made a lot of sense, man. Like people okay. were saying that he was living like in Cuba, <laughs> yeah. like hiding up in like you know some house in Cuba because he's been, he just kept releasing music. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. like that that was like the theory. People were like, mm. Well, how's he continuing to release music if he passed away? Oh, so that's how it started. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, okay, it's okay. like brand new music, dude. Like new lyrics that no one has ever heard. It wasn't remixes of old songs. They're just mm. new lyrics that no one has ever heard. And they're like coming out year after year after year. Oh, okay, okay. So um I mean like 
Pop Smoke dropped an album like after. Like he's, I'm pretty sure like the yeah, artists but, still have like songs. But that it was recorded. known that he was working on that album already before he passed away. True. This, true. The, the Tupac songs like they didn't know that uh, you know about this. So like, how many albums do they drop after? Or? Oh, I don't know how many, but he was dropping a lot of songs for okay. sure. Like he was dropping multiple songs. Hmm. And then people were just saying that you know he got tired of the limelight and wanted to go chill out in Cuba. <laughs> what if? What if? He's just trying to hide from Jada. I mean, I think a lot of people are trying to hide from her. <laughs> <laughs> Will Smith could. Oh man, poor hey, guy. Uh, I don't want. I know. I, don't, I was gonna say so. I was gonna say like you know if Will Smith. You know, I don't. Like, I don't want to say. No, no, no. <laughs> I would say Will Smith passes away. You know that means he might be hiding up somewhere. But I don't want to put bad juju oh, no. and say Will Smith's gonna pass away. So no, nah, he's one of the guts. He's one of the guts. <laughs> you know, I love Will Smith, dude. I am Legend. That's one of my favorite Oof. movies ever. I am Legend. The dog scene. Yeah, the, the oh. dog scene's sad. The dog scene is really sad. That's that's the the worst part of the movie. Have you seen the alternate ending to I Am Legend? I I want to say yes, but I don't remember it. The the alternate so the real ending, I believe, is um is when he punches the the zombie, right? With the grenade in his hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the actual ending, right? Yeah. So the the alternate ending, if you if you get like the DVD, you can watch the alternate ending. Mm -hmm. So the alternate ending is Will Smith comes out of the, you know, that, do you remember the little glass room they were yeah, in? Yeah. So he comes out of the glass room and he like goes up to the zombie and the zombie does not attack him. Mm. Instead, what he does is he gives, remember the, the woman zombie? Yeah, he yeah. gives the woman zombie to that guy zombie yeah, yeah. as like a peace offering. He's like, here, take your wife. Because that's what he wanted. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what he wanted all along. And so the the man zombie, he doesn't attack Will Smith. He just like goes up in his face, mm. but and he just grabs his wife, you know, the yeah, woman yeah. zombie. And he leaves. And then he tells... Remember, there's like a whole bunch of other zombies with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he makes all the other zombies leave with him. Oh. So he just lets Will Smith go free. What's... And, okay. It's funny, because I don't remember, like... I remember, uh -huh. I think I saw it, but I don't remember that. Yeah. But I think I also heard that there's going to be, like, a part two? A part two? Yes. Yeah, I heard of that. I have heard Maybe of Maybe because of the ending? Right? Yeah, because they're going to go out the alternate ending, oh. because Will Smith is still alive. Yo, when is that coming out? I want to see. Yeah, I, I want to see that too. But there better not be another dog scene like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't have a dog anymore, dude. So we could have a new one. That's true. Maybe but it'll be a cat next time. I, I will say that that, <laughs> that that male zombie dude, scary. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Aggressive. That, like, that zombie. Fast. Uh, that movie. It has like, a couple of jump scares that actually are legitimately scary. Oh no! Yeah. Do you? I guess. Do you believe in zombies? Zombies, nah. I don't. I've. No? I love zombie movies. I love zombie culture, but nah. There's no way zombies could ever be real. Isn't there uh like these parasites like going like insects brains and then they, they control them? Uh huh. Like it's like they're like zombie like. I like think that's, it's a thing. Maybe I just don't want to believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I don't want zombies to be a thing, so I refuse to believe that. Because like maybe may, maybe like let's just say, just a, a, some sort of parasite, right? Okay is in our brain yes and maybe it doesn't necessarily kill the body it just like takes away your functions so you don't control yourself yeah i've seen um because like, like have you seen those insects that get taken over by zombie no, parasites no, yeah, yeah. is that what you're talking yeah, about yeah. yeah yeah they have like snails mm -hmm. will get like a parasite infected a parasite will take over a snail and control the snail as if the snail is like real no yeah that's what i'm saying like they i don't think necessarily they have to be just dead you know they just control their motor functions that's true because like maybe they're just the essence of the snail or whatever is like gone. Yeah. And that was just the parasite controlling the body. Wait, do you remember when um a couple of years ago people were taking bath salts and they were turning into like quote unquote oh, zombies? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that yeah. time? That was that was a crazy time. Dang. Cause people were it was bath salts, like they're not even a drug, right? It's like some, I, I still don't know what they are. I still yeah, I really don't know what it is. It's some type of like chemical that people were consuming this that they were not supposed to. And it was like turning, like they were just like losing all control of their behavior, no, and just like that. turning into like quote unquote zombies. I remember that. Yeah, it was, it was pretty sad. I think a lot of people passed away, you know, doing that stuff. I mean, yeah, like what is a bath salt? I don't know. I really don't know. Like, what is the actual use of it? But um, humans, you know, we're kind of dumb. I mean, I yeah, we also some people ate Tide Pods. Yeah, that was quite That's the era. another another era. You was know? that that was during COVID or was that before COVID? I want to I want to say during because like you're just stuck at home you want you want to do something you know you're like, like I'm gonna eat some Tide pods like there's nothing else to do you see a Tide pod you're like you know what <laughs> that looks kind of good okay Tide pods look kind of good but like you should not be eating a Tide pod like it's man. still plastic you know like 
like, some sort of detergent. Hey, hey, but not gonna lie though, when I go to the store and I go into the laundry uh, aisle, it smells good. Oh, it's fire. I love that. That's my favorite aisle at the store. <laughs> it smells so f- good. What's your favorite Tide Pod? My favorite, <laughs> my favorite Tide Pod flavor. <laughs> Dude, I love the um, the avocado flavor. Dude, it's Ooh, delicious, bro. I, I like Spring Meadow. Not <laughs> Spring Meadow. <laughs> but who who like th- just think of like that like so there was one person who's like I'm gonna eat a Tide Pod. No, there's multiple. No, people. but like, that was the problem. But, like, but like, someone started it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was like a group thing. Well, it's just like man, these trends, dude. Like these internet trends. People, <laughs> the things people would do for internet internet clout. Is ridiculous, man. Attention. People will do anything for attention. It's, like start, it's like, really sad. Like start a podcast. Yeah. Can like, you imagine? Can you imagine starting a podcast just for some internet attention? That's crazy. That's that just, couldn't be us. It's disturbing, man. Like cannot be us. Yeah. No. Literally cannot be us. <laughs> but but going back to <laughs> to internet cloud, like yeah, like people. I know. Like, here we are making YouTube videos. <laughs> like, you can't believe that these people do okay. <laughs> as we fill up a room with talkies <laughs> for entertainment. Though we're doing it for entertainment. It's internet, a little different. Internet attention. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess um, we shouldn't judge people too hard. Oh, no, yeah. But like, we're not, you know, we're not hurting anybody or hurting ourselves. Not true. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's a little different. Yes. Because, like, we we write out scripts, we yeah, yeah. produce them, we shoot them, and then yeah. we share them with the world. These yeah. these internet clout people, they're doing these dangerous trends yes. for a sliver of clout. A sliver. That's insane. Like they're damaging their bodies, you know, yeah. hurting families. Yes, yes. What was that one like crate challenge a couple years ago? Crate also? challenge. I think it was also. Oh during- yeah, yeah. <laughs> when people are st- they're stacking up crates, yeah. right? And then what are they doing? They're like walking over the crate, You're trying to make it over because like it gets wa- super wobbly. Yeah. I I was I was telling you right now I was like. I was scared that you would want to do that. The crate challenge? Yeah. Nah, nah. And I was See, like, bro, I, I'm not I coordinated. Have, nah, I have limits, okay? Like, I don't like putting myself in danger either. Same. Right? No, like, I'm I'm very scared. I like doing the safe challenges, okay? <laughs> do you remember, like, the mannequin challenge? Like, we okay, just no, froze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, See, that's the challenge I could get behind, okay? Oh, for sure. you it's easy. No one gets hurt. It's safe, and it's fun. Oh, yeah. Wait, do you remember um the Harlem Shake challenge? Mm, that was an error. Wait, were you there when we did the Harlem Shake in Starbucks? No, I was not there. You weren't there. Oh, I, I remember dude, the video. Dude, I that was so much fun. We went. We got like what was it like a group of maybe like twenty to twenty five friends, right? And we all met up at Starbucks, and then we did the Harlem Shake there. It was, that was like crazy. I don't know why the hell we did that <laughs> for fun. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, well, it was for internet cloud. <laughs> yeah, we all we all bum rushed a freaking Starbucks, and then uh, we just all started dancing. All twenty five of us or so just started Damn. dancing in the middle of a starbucks and i remember i stood on top of a table and the table broke as i was dancing like the top so it was like the pole right here uh-huh. and then the table on top and i was standing on the edge and it just completely snapped off the oh, base wow. of it yeah it completely snapped off as we we're mid dancing so then we danced for like maybe what maybe i'd say like 30 seconds or so and then we all run out and then, including me with, and I broke the table Damn. and I was like the whole time after I broke the table, I was like, Oh shoot, what did I just do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we all run, we go back to our cars and you know, everyone's like, Oh, that was fun. You know, we got it done. And I was like, I was stressing. I was like, dude, I really broke that table because I was scared I was going to get in trouble. Well, they got cameras. Yeah. And we were young at that time. I think we were like maybe 17 or 18. Right. <laughs> so I was really scared. I was legitimately scared. I was like, man, what do I do? Like, I, you know, the police are going to come get me and arrest <laughs> me for this table. I'd be scared. So then I did what I thought was the right decision. I was like, you know, I got to go back into that Starbucks and apologize and tell them that I'll pay for the table. Right. Wow. Uh, that Like at that time, I was like, that's the best thing I could do uh-huh. to fix this problem that I did, <laughs> that and, I caused. And did you do it? Yeah. So I okay. went, I went into the Starbucks. I was like, Hey, uh, can I speak to the manager? And then the manager came out and he was like, what's up, man? I was like, Hey, um, I was part of the group that just came in and, um, I was the one that broke your table. I was like nervous. I was like no, shaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was the one that, you know, broke the table. Um, but I, I could pay for it. I didn't even have any money at no, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to figure it out. So I just told him, I was like, Hey, I'll pay for it. Like, it's not a problem. And, uh, actually the manager is like, Oh no, no, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. You know, it's, it's cool. It's all right. Don't, don't worry about it. And I was like, oh, really? He's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. So then, yeah, he just let me go without what? paying for anything. Dang. But now as an adult, I understand why he let me go because he was probably scared that I would like sue him. Oh, for, okay, like, because okay, like, okay. I fell off the table. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's probably scared that. I don't no, know. just go, just yeah, go. because I mean, what does a table cost them? Maybe like 100, 200 oh, bucks or something like that. Yeah, if that. Like, so I'm sure they're like, whatever, we'll just fix it. Dang. But, um, yeah, you know. Oh, that's very honorable. Yeah, like, no, I was. No, that, 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 that's very cool. I didn't do it to, to be a good no, person. Yeah, yeah, I did it more so because I was scared to get in trouble. Yeah, I'm I not mean, gonna lie, but I mean, I, th- I think that's very cool though, because I mean, 
I'll tell you right now, I if I would have broken the table, yeah, I would have been super scared to go back and show face. Yeah. Like even if I wanted to like do what you did, yeah. I think my nerves and everything, I'd just be so just caught up in the moment like i can't show my face there again no i was extremely nervous going in there and talking to the guy especially because i was so young at that time mm -hmm. that like i was just a nervous person to begin with yeah but to like go up to the guy and tell him like yo i broke your table and i'll pay for it but yeah i was shaking and uh luckily he let me go so it's all good have, so do, do you frequent starbucks now or no you know but uh i have i went i continued to go to that starbucks okay. after that so uh you know it's all good all all love all love for starbucks now what, what if the harlem shake was a friend you make it made along the way it was it Dang. definitely was and that manager too yeah i want to know how that manager's doing he's probably he probably got he's, fired he was, a, he was a very nice guy you know like he he was totally understandable and you know he didn't he didn't like lecture me or anything Dang. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's like you took just responsibility and you owned up to it. And maybe you yeah. kind of had like a solution to like, I'll pay for it. Yeah. You know? yeah I don't know. If he would have <laughs> told me, yeah, you have to pay for it. I don't know how the heck I would have so, paid oh, for that. Oh, I didn't think that far. <laughs> <laughs> I would have figured something out. Maybe I would have asked my mom to borrow some money or something like that. But um, I'm sure I would have figured it out. Dang. The things we do as kids. Yeah. Hopefully I don't break any more tables. Though. Oh, no.